All right, it is one of the top home sales so far in 2021. A $44 million Brentwood property oh, wow. that caught the attention of one of the greatest heavy white boxers of all time. You see him right there, Mike Tyson. He didn't buy the house, but he did help to grow it. Marla Tay has caught up with Mike Tyson about his new business venture and the moment he considers the highlight of his career. This is not a bad assignment. No. Uh, from heavyweight boxer to cannabis contender, Mike Tyson is busy these days building his brand, which includes breaking into the real estate world. You like to be called Iron Mike, the baddest man on the planet? No, no, I'm just Mike. Stop. It's a side of Mike Tyson most haven't seen. Yeah. Look how modest you are. I'm going to call you Modest I like Mike. That. Yeah, I that. <laughs> After all, he's known for his mean punch. Stop. But nowadays, the 55 year old boxing champ is competing in a whole different ring, making a name for himself in California's multi billion dollar business of cannabis. Hey, look, kid with this, stuff. <laughs> this stuff is his stuff. Cannabis grown for his business, Tyson Ranch. It sells out all the biggest dispensaries in the world, Planet 13, and those things they're always selling out. Tyson launched his company headquartered in El Segundo in 2015. He partners with growers to sell an array of cannabis varieties, including the appropriately named Knockout OG. He also hosts a podcast, Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. But we met him at his latest business venture. This is my dream, but he took it to another level. When Mike and I met each other, I mean, there was no better fit than this. Tyson teamed up with LA-based luxury real estate developer Ramton Ray Nizrati to create this rooftop cannabis garden as part of Nizrati's newly built four-level, 50,000-square-foot home known as the Brentwood Oasis. It's going to be the next wine cellar, I believe. How has cannabis changed your life? Well, cannabis made me a better person. If I don't smoke cannabis, you get a little bit of irritable Mike Tyson. You don't want him out to smoke. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest misconception about you, do you think? I don't know if there ever was a misconception about me. You're a lot less intimidating than I really? thought you'd be. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not, good, I'm not fighting you. <laughs> About his boxing days, beyond his 50 wins and 44 knockouts, you might be surprised to hear his unlikely career highlight. Mike Tyson? Tyson reminiscing about his 2009 role in the hit comedy film, The Hangover. That's probably one of the most important moments of my career. Oh, I ask him to recreate that famous scene. <laughs> <laughs> the Hangover series may be over, but Tyson is still proving he can go the distance both in the business world and soon back in the ring. Who would you be in the ring with? Lennox Lewis. That's right. Ted Tyson versus Lewis could happen at the end of this year. Stay tuned. That house, uh, Alex and Christine, by the way, it sold within just a few days on the market. Again, $44 million. So Mike Tyson went to smell the plant. Could, could you smell it? Was it strong? Oh, yeah, very strong. <laughs> I did smell it. I didn't smoke it. I know everyone at home is wondering, do we get free samples? No. Well, you were yeah. hanging with Mike, so I was yes. really wondering. <laughs> 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 and really, he's just a big, a big old teddy bear. Yeah. But like he says, I'm not fighting you. At least to you, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>